Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. Taking a look today at a knife from CRKT. Uh, this is the CRKT uh, MAK1. That's multiple access knife. And uh, it's kind of a combination of a knife and a tool. Ships in a plastic sleeve along with some literature. Here's a, uh, uh, some information, uh, instructional information on exactly how to use the knife, how to make good use of it. Uh, there's, a, there's a photograph of James McGowan. He's, the, uh, he's a firefighter in Toronto, Canada who designed this knife. Uh, he also designed the uh, CRKT Extra Kate, uh, which is another rescue type of tool. I did a review on that also. You can look at that if you'd like. Uh, it also comes with a uh, pamphlet on the rest of the CRKT lineup. Lots of good stuff in there. Real good stuff in there. Good knives. Uh, anyway, on to this one, the, the Mac 1. Get that out there. There we go. Alright. It's, uh, it's an unusual looking knife. Uh, and the sheath is not uh, not necessarily conventional either. Let's take it out and you'll see what I mean. There we are. At first glance it almost kind of looks like a, a razel, but uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, we'll look at the sheath here for right now. The sheath is made of Zytel and it comes in two pieces which which are uh, can be separated if you want. Get a little closer on that for you. Uh, the bottom half of the sheath, where the blade uh, rests, it has uh, it has uh, five eyelets here. Uh, I don't know if you really count this one that's all the way back under there, if that really counts or not, but uh, it has these other four very usable eyelets here, and then four webbing slots uh, for tie down. It's uh, you know it's a, like it's Kydex, so you know it's a very firm, firm, rigid, uh, very uh, very rigid and, and, and non-indestructible type of a sheath. It's held the the uh, the top half of the sheath is held on with screws, which the back half here it it almost looks like it's metal. Uh, but it's not. It's still Kydex. It's just got a higher gloss finish on it. But it's held on. It's held together with the screws here. So I guess it, it could be removed if you'd want. Um, and then there is a the uh, the loop restrainer here is uh, made of rubber. It's a very uh, very rugged rubber. And of course that can be open. It can be rotated so it can be open from either way, whichever is. Uh, more, most convenient for you. Uh, it has a an interesting attachment here uh, on the belt. Uh, it it slides up and down. You you there's these uh, snap locks here, and you pinch them together like this, and then that can slide up like that. So you'll put put that onto the your belt or webbing or whatever you're attaching it to, and, and then there you go. It does come with a little, uh, again, a rubber piece here to, to pull and to, to work that with, but it's, uh, yeah, you just pinch these little clamps together and there you go. <laughs> Interesting. Innovative. And that, that uh, has screws on it, so that can be removed too if you'd want. The whole thing can be taken completely apart. But it's a uh, it's a good it's a good heavy duty sheath, good hard use, uh, good uh, good wear, rugged wear, that kind of thing. All right, the knife is certainly got its own unique profile. There, we'll just uh, do the technical specs for right now. The blade is it's a five inch long blade. Now I'm measuring the five inches from the, the top of the handle here all the way to the tip. Uh, but the actual cutting surface 
if you're interested in that, is only three inches, which is uh, from here to here. From this point here, just ahead of the choil, to this first uh, blade geometry angle right there. That's three inches of cutting surface. The steel is made of two CR13, and it is uh, two tenths of an inch thick, or that's about it's about six millimeters. So it's, it's pretty good thickness. It's got a good it's a good thick blade. Uh, the Rockwell hardness on this now is a 51 to 53. Now that, that may surprise you uh, to hear a number that low, but remember now, this is a, this is a blade that's going to be used for, for prying, okay? That's what it's, it's intended for. It's, it's intended for, uh, to be used in the twist and the pry and the leverage like that. So you wouldn't want a blade that's uh, got the higher Rockwell hardness that would be too brittle. That's just the right, the right hardness for this type of use. Uh, the, the handle here is G10, handle scales, and it's full tang construction. It's, that steel runs all the way through, and so the, that's, those are G10 handles that screw on, and they, they can be removed uh, for cleaning, uh, if, you know, if oil, or solvents or something gets under there or you just want to take them off to clean the knife and dry it, uh, you can certainly do that. The weight of the knife is 5.2 ounces. And again, it comes with a Kydex sheath. So, uh, you know, here's the story behind this knife. It's designed by firefighter James McGowan. And he is, uh, you know, he, he comes at this at this from the perspective of a firefighter and, and the, the types of, of uses that he would need in that kind of a job as a first responder, firefighter, paramedic, that kind of thing, trying to break, get into, get into uh, uh, cars, gain a access and entry into cars, into homes, into places like that to, to get people out, to put out fires and that sort of thing. And this is how he, uh, this is what he came up with as, as a, a tool that could be just carried at your hip and, and, and be used in those kinds of important, important functions. So let's take a look at the, at the tip of it here. Like I mentioned, it's meant for prying, uh, gaining access, that kind of a thing. It does have a chisel grind. The blade does have a chisel grind on it. So, you know, that's just, the edge is just on one side. And that blunt tip is for, uh, is for, for prying for door entry. Uh, car, car door, uh, window, uh, entry prying, leveraging, that kind of a thing. The edge, well that's, you know, that's for cutting seat belts, cutting webbing, uh, cutting uh, anything that might be in the way, restraining a person or in the way of, of ga gaining access to someone. There's a, a huge finger choil here and you can see that it was made overly large uh, which would which would account for a gloved hand. Usually, a firefighter will be working with a gloved hand, and and that would uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, you know certainly uh, accompany a, a gloved hand very well right there. There's a finger guard for when you're holding it back here. The jimping on the top is very effective. That's there you can see you can see that there. Pretty good there. Uh, good thick steel. More jimping at the back. On the back here, we've got a. This is an eight millimeter wrench, uh, which is the size for uh, the screws on battery terminals. So uh, to, to when when hand when trying to get at in a vehicle uh, and needing to disconnect the battery, uh, that that is a, a wrench for using getting at the battery to uh, terminal. Uh, also. This also can be used as a glass breaker uh, if put, put, on, put on the glass window, if there's an edge available, put on it and then twist it like that to, to shatter the glass. If no edge is available, if the window is closed, then there is a tungsten carbide tip to, to be used as a punch for a, for a glass breaker. Okay, so there's, there's uh, quite, a few, uh, quite a few little tools built in on there. And all of those things would be things that a firefighter, first responder, uh, EMT would, 
could make good use of. The lanyard, it does come with a lanyard and uh, the, it is made with reflective reflective cord in there, that, that silver that you see in there. That is, it may not show up very well in the video, but that is a reflective um, cloth or, or cord. So if dropped by the shine of a flashlight, that will reflect up and, and show up very well. Uh, it's uh, really a well-made, well-made hard-use tool. A lot of thought went into it. Uh, it was designed by someone who actually does the job for real. Uh, someone who has designed other tools, the the uh, the extra cape, for example. And uh, you know, CRKT teams up with some with some people that have pretty good ideas. And uh, I think this is another example of that. That'd be great for anybody to have, you know. I mean, keeping your own car. You never know what you might run across. You never know when you might might make good use of that. All right, that's the CRKT MAK1 with Zytel sheath. Thanks for watching. See you again.